Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to cascade a drop down list and the select list in ASP.NET Core and the previous video tutorials also covered that topics like that a country and they just select it and you can see that uh, there is a respective state's name in the selective B and the V5s okay so how to do this the so first of all here we have two drop down list and uh, those uh, related uh, with the country and the state so just create first of all model that is the country and the state like that uh, here we have a country a country have a multiple states you know that and the state have a unique country like the country ID so uh, in this video tutorial I am creating a mock data uh, for in the repository section so just create a class and in the constructor the both country and the states uh, that is the public properties countries and the state in the constructor you can see the countries is uh, loaded with the two country names that is a and b and id is one two and the states is loaded with the six data and four data is related to the country one and the remaining two data uh, related to the country two okay in the home controller section the first of all index method will be called and the country list will be popped out in the list so repository just call it uh, that is the mock data uh, mock data class that is the repository here uh, we have and uh, just after that uh, bind a select list with the countries and with their id and the name and the view bag in the country list okay <laughs> okay in just uh, go to the uh, view section of the countries mm, here we have uh, index and you can see that uh, that country list that is the select list bind with the view back object that is countries okay when we change any other that is the jquery function will be called on change function and in which we have a ajax function will call that is the post method uh, that is the url and this is the data just I want to send that data like that country ID will be sent to the uh, that action method that is get state and the country ID is the name of um, the action parameter name that is there country ID and the state and the name is the get state and the method is the HTTP post so here we have a HTTP post method and the parameter is country ID and the method name is get state okay so uh, in the home controller we have just uh, get the repository that is the mock data and just get the uh, states where country id is one okay now after that the state list is there bind the select list and just uh, return to the JSON data in the form of select list here we have a id and the name of the uh, state's name and in the index.cshtml after that the variable dot reach function uh, you can see in the last video tutorial we have already seen about the response and the each function so uh, function response items items uh, uh, iterate uh, one by one of the select list um, according to their states so option value this dot value is the id property and the text is the name property so after that we have to bind that items uh, in the second list that is the state list that is the empty list and by using jquery you can bind this by using this state list.html items so thank you guys for watching this video and uh, more watching if you just comment it and uh, uh, asking me anything about the sp.net core thank you very much for watching